What if I told you the great majority of the people you see out protesting, and I'm especially referring to the young ones, well, most of them are these young people, young kids in colleges. What if I told you the great majority of them, the real reason they're there is because they want to look cool in front of their friends and they want to belong. That's a capital with a capital B. They're desperate to belong and this is the best way and easiest way and quickest way they know how. Palestine is right now the flavor of the month. What was it before? Ukraine. Oh, what was it before? Oh, uh, yeah, climate change. You notice no one is talking about Ukraine right now. It's not Palestine because it's the flavor of the month. Oh, what are we protesting today? Palestine. Who are we for? Oh, well, Israel, Palestine, whatever. To them, it doesn't make any difference. I honestly tell you, great majority of them could not point to Palestine on the map, could not point to Israel. They couldn't tell you what continent those countries, those places are located in, at. They want to look cool. They want to belong. Why do you think so many young people can't wait to turn 18 to get a tattoo? Because they say, oh, look, I got a tattoo. I'm cool also. Can I be in your group? I belong. Oh, what are we protesting today? Uyghurs in China? Let's go for it. How come no one is right now protesting the brutal dictatorship of Myanmar and how it's treating the uh, people there that are fighting for, for freedom and the elected prime minister who was jailed. No one is talking about that. No one is talking about the country of Iran where the, the, the Islamic mafia dictatorship has been ruling that country for 44 years and all political prisoners are tortured, shot to death, murdered, their bodies are buried without telling their parents and a lot of the bodies are found with internal organs removed because they sell them to the highest bidder. No one is talking about that. You know why? Because that's not the flavor of the month. Right now it's Palestine. They could not care less about Palestine. And you know how I know. Ask them, hey, would you give up your cell phone if you knew that was gonna help a Palestinian child? They would tell you, get lost. Tell them, would you pay $10? Would you pay $20, $10, $5, whatever you can afford to, uh, to feed the refugees from Palestine or or Uyghurs in China, or, or freedom fighters in Myanmar, or the Aborigines in Australia, or the Tamils in, in uh, Sri Lanka. They could not care less. They would tell you to get lost. I remember uh, when there was the Iraq war, there was a guy that actually went there and he videoed stray dogs, dogs that were made homeless as a result of the massive bombing yeah, exactly. uh, over there. And there were people flooding it with money. Now that is genuine care. They really cared. People really felt bad for those hungry, cold, unfed animals. And they sent money to this organization, which ended up being uh, you know, uh, a, a fraud. But they sent money with goodwill, you know, with a good heart to help those animals because that was genuine care. They didn't go out there and protest with a sign, free Palestine, free Israel, free Uyghurs, whatever. Free the dogs of Iraq, no. They just wrote a check and sent money. How many of these protesters in Harvard University or in other colleges around the world or these other people that claim they are dying for Palestine but they live in the West and live and enjoy the freedoms of the West where they could have all these years gone easily and lived in Palestine. Hey, I have been there. I can say that. I've been to Israel. I've been to Ramallah. My best friend is from Ramallah. They, many, many, many Palestinians worked in Israel and they're very happy. They were treated very nice, free medical care. They loved it. They loved it. So these kids, these people that are wearing the Palestinian, whatever, uh, uh, scarf on their head, and they claim proudly that I'm a Palestinian, and all the problem is from the white supremacists, they could have easily all these years gone and lived there. And you know, that's not even a strict country where they force you to wear a hijab or practice any particular religion. You could be completely free walking with a miniskirt in Ramallah or in Nablus or in any city in Palestine. I am talking about Palestine, not even Israel. I'm talking about Palestine once you cross over to the Palestinian Authority where they are running the show. But they chose to go to France, they chose to go to Italy, they chose to go to Sweden, they chose to go to Germany, they chose to go to Canada and US because 
deep down inside they want the freedoms of the west but they want to pay an empty phony lip service to the causes of right now the flavor of the month is palestine i've got no no dog in this race they want to belong they're lonely they feel isolated they feel ostracized and this is the quickest way to belong oh flavor of the month is palestine what what's it going to be next month last month was uh ukraine what's it going to be the month after that oh what are we protesting today climate change oh yes okay yeah the polar bears save the polar bears whatever makes me cool makes me appear cool in front of my friends and whatever helps me belong and feel like i am somebody and you know right uh, there in the same universities that you see these uh, these clueless nobodies uh, protesting the flavor of the month there are those students who are just quietly passing by they're the normal level-headed people that are psychologically sane they're probably from two-parent families they get enough love at home they have their healthy friends they have the their uh, full social life they don't need to uh, in, in, root for a phony cause just to appear cool in front of their friends and belong and be accepted in a group am i in the team now i'm i've got a palestinian uh, uh shawl right now around my head do you accept me now am i cool now this is what it's all about this is what it's all about and you'll see it'll die down and next month it'll be something else and you'll see what i'm talking about it's the flavor of the month it will be something else next month and something else after that and something else after that. If you ask these people exactly what are you protesting, they could not tell you. Just like asking these people that are saying, well, who are you going to vote for? Well, I'm going to vote for, let's say, Biden. Okay, because I don't like Trump. Why? Why don't you like Trump? Oh, I, uh, well, he's, he's a racist. What, can you tell us why? What did he do to be a racist? Uh, he's against women. Can you tell us something, a proof that he's against women? Because half of his administration were female. Uh, well, well, you know, uh, they, they walk away because they don't have anything beyond the surface. You peel that layer of onion, it's a cotton candy. There is nothing there inside. They just want to belong. They just want to be cool. And again, the same people that I said, talked about in my other video. Oh, Matthew Perry died. Oh, I wrote a poem for him. They want to belong. They say, oh, I'm one of you. I'm cool. Accept me in your group. I want to belong, just like you, uh, belonging, joining a gang. Why do you think these young kids who don't have a father join gangs? Because it gives them something to belong to. They, they feel important. Oh, now I got a cause. No, no, never mind that that cause is absolutely worthless and it's going to take them right down into the, into the sewer in life. But they don't care. They belong. They are somebody now. They're in a group. Yeah, you know, I got a tattoo and I'm in the group. I got a shawl. I got a tattoo. And, you know, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. I'm protesting right along with you. Whatever it is, I'm with you. Catch what I'm saying? All the best.